Let's face it, even the best of us has a trashy side because the average American will produce about four pounds of it each and every day. And while that may not seem like much, it adds up fast. If garbage collection were to stop for just a single day, it would leave 700,000 tons of trash festering across the country. That's why companies like MDI know it's essential to keep up with the constant flow of our waste. But in Southern Alabama, one of their roll-off drivers, Randy Burgess, has bitten off a bit more than his truck can chew. Way too heavy. When it takes out the front end of the truck, that's a no-no. Randy's truck can hoist up to 12 tons of construction waste, which apparently is about 12 tons shy of what he'd need to lift this container. There's only one solution. This one's not going nowhere until they take some of it out. I'm going to set it back down and go talk to this bobcat operator real fast and ask him to get some out here. Randy's too busy for setbacks like these. But if he makes his other run first, he might just have time to circle back to this container today. Hey, man, this can's way too heavy, man. I'm going to have to um, come back later on. If you wouldn't mind getting a little bit out of there for me, I'd appreciate it, man. All right? Appreciate it, man. Try to plan it where I can get back over here and pick it up later, so that way we don't fall behind on our day tomorrow. So I'm going to go. Go to the next thing on the list, We're burning daylight. Like time and tide, trash waits for no man. So while the load in this container is lightened, Randy heads to the far side of town to make his other pickup. But making good time in a 16-ton truck, easier said than done. People see you come, they usually, they usually get out of your way. But just got to be aware of your surroundings. Yeah, it, it can be it can be challenging to, to get in and out of, of tight spaces. But but if a can sitting there in a tight space, you know, then you, you think right away, well, the can got in there, so it's got to be able to get out of there. So. Sound logic, but it doesn't take into account unexpected roadblocks, like say a mid-sized SUV. Oh, great! Somebody else is slowing down my day. There ain't no way I'm going to be able to get to that can with that vehicle parked in my way. Sir, excuse me, is this your vehicle over here? That's not yours? All right, thank you, sir. Hold me down, slow me down. Making a long day already longer. Back in town, another route is well underway, thanks to the skilled hands of driver Lee Bryant. Just tell me if it hurts. Lee's specialty is collecting trash from the many dumpsters around town. And to do it, he relies on a kind of truck that's aptly named a front loader. Unlike other rigs, the front loader comes equipped with a hydraulically powered fork that lifts containers overhead and dumps them into the back. And with the entire MDI fleet low on staff today, like the rest of his colleagues, Lee's taking on extra stops. You know, everybody got to pitch in and do their part. Sometimes it's just, that's just the way it rolls. That's just the way it works. So you just got to have a clear mind, a relaxed mind, and get the job done. All told, Lee has 150 dumpsters to empty today which is 50 more than usual. And all that trash is due at the landfill by, you guessed it, 5 o'clock. It should be doable, so long as he sticks to his routine. Here we go. I'm going to line myself up with this can before I uh, lower my fork. I kind of bump the can a little bit just to make sure, just to get some awareness of whether it's a person or an animal. Because well, I have been in some instances where people have jumped out of the can. Having confirmed that this dumpster is devoid of any life forms, Lee gets down to business. You, know, you just take your time, get the can up, and we're going to do it as quiet as we can, as quick as we can, so we can get out of here. Have a satisfied customer. But with 50 new stops today, just finding some dumpsters can take longer than servicing them. I'm going to approach another stop here. This, uh, it's an unfamiliar stop. It's, a, it, it's on another route. I have to find out where the can's at. I know it's somewhere in this plaza. It's 
just gotta kind of see where what we're looking for there. Oh. Well, the good news is Lee found his dumpster. The bad news, location, location, location. Let me see what I have to do here. Just give me a second. Sir. Tight. Across town, fleet mechanic Lee Skipper is on his way to help out another front load driver, one that seems to be having trouble with his truck. So when a truck goes down, instead of bringing them all the way to the shop, we try to go out and assess the problem. Maybe we can fix them on the, you know, on, in route. That way they can continue on route so we're not backing up. I'm hoping this is going to be a quick fix because we're supposed to uh, fix a radiator on another truck that's got to be running today. Right there he is, right there. Oh. What's up, my man? Sounds like I thought it was there, and we can't get the port to move up or down. All right, uh, you want to shut it down? So uh, and do it that way again. No, with the way it's not working. Down. What is that? Do it one more time. Hold it down. Cheer. Lee's heard this sound more times than he can count, and it usually means one thing. Sound like it's got an air leak. Like uh, may have gotten too hot. Them trucks they got through a lot of air on them. So eventually the uh, air compressor gets hot. You got so much uh, pressure on it that um, eventually it just blows a hole in it. So I'm hoping that's what it is. That'd be an easy fix. For today, anyway, to get us back going. We have a line here that is blowed and looks like it's been rubbing on the inside of the controls here. All right. Uh. Yep, it's been rubbing burn a hole right into it. So, let's see if I can get me some connectors and redo it, fix it. Uh, let's see. Reconnecting this hose back, just splicing in. Um, that way we can get his hydraulics going, that way we can hurry up and get him back on the road on his route. All right, get this all done. All right, let's see about cranking her up, see what it's gonna do. Let it fire up. All right, go ahead and move it. Oh yeah. All right. All right, man, you get any problem, just holler at us. We'll see you.